Hey, Nick here for another fabulous video about uh, the quarter window on a 64, five or six Thunderbird. Now this is out of a convertible and you know that because the window comes to a point, whereas a hard top, the window is squared off. So this is out of a convertible. And uh, I had it apart. I, I didn't make a video of it. I wasn't going to do that at first. And I had it apart and fixed it. It had a bad window motor gear. The, the gear was broken. I have it over here. This is the original gear. It was broken. It broke off of there. See this? This rubber, it's made of rubber, it broke off of there. See, originally it looked like that. And then it breaks, that's what happens to these, the original ones. The original ones are rubber, they're not the plastic one with the three tabs, they're not those. Okay, so, now some learning here, okay? Because I have to show you something. Let me point this down. Okay, you've got three different kinds of gears. Let me see if I can find a clean one here. Yeah, here's the original gear. That's the original gear used in 64s, 65s, and then they went to, well, later on they went to these with the three tabs, and this is what the replacement, Ford replacement gear looks like. This is the best one to buy. If you can find one of these, buy one of these. You see the three plastic tabs, they come out, Okay, these, they're round little dowels, tabs is wrong, dowels. They come out of there, and this flexes. The whole, per, the whole way this was designed is so this could flex a little bit. They want it to flex. This gear with the springs inside does not flex, even though it has springs in it. The springs are way too hard, and this has no, this gear is not forgiving at all. These gears are terrible, they're junk, do not buy them. If somebody sends you one of these, send it back. They're junk. I've had a lot of trouble with these, uh, and I don't use them anymore. Only use these, or if you can find a used one of these. Now that's what I used in this one, I used one of these, a used one, because they're good. They're a good gear. They have a lot of forgiveness, you know, they flex, and that's what they're supposed to do. So, there's the window motor gear info. Now, I, I went ahead and uh, put a new gear in, uh, or use, good use gear, one of these. And here's the spring that goes in. This, this, is a door, this is a door window spring. The quarter window spring is smaller, but they're like that, they look like this. The spring is to help it go up and to slow it down going down. If you didn't have a spring, it would, it would go up really slow and zoom going down. So that's what the spring does. The spring counteracts gravity and it also counteracts the power of the motor bringing it down. So it'll go up and down evenly. Now, I'm having a problem with this because I don't like the way it sounds. And I don't like the way it sounds because of this, the spring. Uh, they, this is a problem with these. And this one's exceptionally noisy. I don't, they're not usually this bad. But uh, here, I'm gonna work it, and you can listen to it. It's just exceptionally noisy. You hear it crackle in there? Let me, uh, let me bring this closer, and you can listen to it. Hear that, the crackling? That's the spring making that noise. Now, also, notice how well this is working. I have to say it's working pretty well. It's going up and down really good. For the most part, it's the same speed. It's going up a little fast. 
uh, not too fast, but it's, you know, it's a little bit faster going up than coming down, but it's basically the same speed, basically equal. <laughs> Okay, now, but I don't like the noise it's making. I don't like it at all. So I'm gonna take it apart again. So now that I have to take it apart again, I'm gonna show you how I did that. Might as well. Um, because, uh, you know, the customer, he, he, I'm not on the clock anymore. He only pays for, I'm only charging him for taking it apart once. I'm just not happy with it. I'm not happy with the noise it makes. And if I were to receive that back, I would think, God, that thing's noisy. You know, did, did the guy do something wrong or what, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna take it apart. I got it in the vise, half inch. You wanna undo the regulator from the box that the quarter window is in. So you wanna undo the regulator. Okay, so I'm gonna, I've got it upside down. Now I'm gonna guide this out by hand. I could probably show you that like this. I'm gonna guide it out. I'm pushing it, I'm pushing this. Oops, I'm pushing the box that way. I got the window up against the vise. So I'm guiding it out. There, okay. Here's the regulator, can you see that? No, nope, you can't, okay. Here's the regulator. So, look at that, okay. Now, it's attached to the, it's attached to the bottom of the window right here. So let's flip it over. Okay, pull it out. So see here, see that? You gotta undo that. Is this thing not focusing? Dumb phone. Undo that. Okay, it's just a locking key kind of clip thing. Thingamajig. Doohickey. Discombobulator. Okay, don't lose this. It's the only place in the car where these exist. Okay, then that comes off, see? There, that comes off. So there's the spring. See the spring? Now I don't like the noise that's making. And also I didn't notice this when I took it off before. I really didn't even look at it. Uh, it's rusty a little bit and it's hard rust. I didn't even look at that. See, my fault, see? So I'm not gonna charge the customer for this. So I'm gonna take that spring off. So in order to do that, I gotta take the motor off. So you need to run the motor to disengage the regulator gear, right? You need to run it. So get my trusty power wires, red and black. Black goes to negative right here. Black, negative. And I'm gonna turn this, I'm gonna work it so that it disengages. Now it's spring-loaded, so this is gonna fling. See how it flings? Because it's under spring tension, so you gotta keep your fingers and the other parts of your body out of the way. Now I have access to the screws that hold the motor to the regulator, but I don't need to take that apart. I just need to take the spring off, see? So here's the regulator, see how See how that works? So that spring's a pile of crap. 
It's a noisy, rusty spring, which I missed. See, I made a mistake. Sue me. Uh, look at that, all rusty and weird. Yeah, that's no good. Look at that, there's the backside. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get another gear maybe, or fix that one. I'll see if I have a better gear, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here's a, so I got another spring. So here's the old thing, spring. Here's a good used one. Now it's not all covered with rust. It's not too bad. It's the same spring, see? So maybe if I spray this with some, uh, whoops, sorry. If I spray it with some white lithium or silicone or something, maybe, maybe some white lithium. This surface isn't the greatest, you know? So you know what I should do? I should grease that. I don't like to grease window parts because the problem is, is road dirt gets in there and it sticks to the grease. And then after a while you have a dirt clod and that's bad. Uh, this is kind of enclosed, you know, it's, it's bolted to here and uh, so it's not so exposed anyway. So I'm gonna grease that. Okay, and then here's the spring, and then I'm gonna put the spring on. So I've got this back. I'm gonna go like that. Okay, there's the spring, it's on all the way. It's in all the way, see? Now we got the spring tension again, see? Okay, I don't hear any noise at all. Good. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more grease in it. In the, inside the spring. Get it inside, you know, between the coils. Okay. You can't even hear that. Cool. Works for me. All right, let's reload this, okay? So we have to reload it. We have to re-engage it into the gear. So I'm gonna put it back in the vise, okay? I'm gonna re-engage it. Get my trusty uh, power wires. Grease off my fingers. Okay. Black is positive. I mean, <laughs> I'm senile. Black is negative. Sorry. Okay, that's down. That's the way to go. Okay. Okay, there, there it is. See? There it is. Now, let's, uh, let me move this a little bit. We can uh, do better. Okay, so. Ooh. I don't hear the spring at all. Only the motor. I like that. I like that a lot. Very good. The customer will be happy. Putting it back together again. You do the exact opposite of how you took it apart. 
We're gonna connect, first of all, make sure this is in the track. You guys can all see that. Make sure the window's in the track, and I've already checked the track. That I did inspect. Yeah, the felt is worn out, but it's, it's not bad. The window's not banging around in it, and uh, uh, it's a big project. You know, remove that, scrape it all out, put new felt in there. It's not worth it. Um, these don't have the problem that door windows have, so that one's fine. You just got to make sure that uh, the window has two rollers, and they have to go into those two tracks right there. So you put the window in, get it in the rear track, okay? This has to be sticking out so you can put the regulator on. Okay. So the little key goes like that. Okay, there, it's on. Make sure it's on good. So it doesn't pop off. You lose that and you're screwed, man. There's only one of those on the whole car. Well, there's two, one for each window and that's it. So those are hen's teeth, man. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that these rollers are going in those tracks. Went in easier than last time, there we go. Okay, there, there it is, see? Okay. All three tracks, all, all three rollers are in their tracks. The rear window is in its, the rear of the window, the back of the quarter window is in its rear track. There's a front track too up here, it's in. Okay, now, We're gonna do the opposite, remember? We're gonna do the opposite of what we did before. So I'm gonna put the back of the box on the table. Here's the, the window, if you can see it. Uh, well, it doesn't matter that you can't see the window come out of the bottom. What you wanna do is you want to uh, guide this down. Now. The trick is, I want to show you this. I don't see if it'll focus on that. See that part right there that's moving, that part that's moving? That part, that has to be pulled towards the front of the box. This is the front of the box where the window is coming out of. That has to be pulled forward, okay? Don't let it slide rearward, okay? Then pull that forward and then let it slide down. And this thing will pretty much slide into place. Look at that, look at it, there it goes. Okay. Okay, look at that, now it's in. Okay, look at that, see? It's in also, look at this. Look at the regulator hole. See, they're almost complete. They're almost perfectly lined up. See, you can see all the bolt holes through the, look at that, almost perfectly lined up. This is that thing I was talking about right there. See that, that has to be pulled forward. I was talking about that earlier. You gotta make sure that that's pulled forward this way. 
when you're putting it all together again. Because that'll bind the whole thing if you don't do it right. Sorry. So now that we got it here, let's go ahead and put the bolts in. years old look at this thing man that came out of the regulator when i took it out of the car that just fell out and it's a fine thread doesn't even belong in this car that was weird maybe somebody was trying to put it in it wouldn't go and then they dropped it who knows I like these. A lot of people don't like them because they, they do this, but I know how to handle it. You know, I, I, I know how to manipulate it. Uh, you can do so much, you know, you can, you can just sit there and go shh like this with it or uh, put it in any position if, you're, if something's in the way. These are the best. So, now I know I've already got the, this track is adjustable, this one, the single track that's bolted in here. The double one below is not, but this one is. I've already adjusted that. And I showed you earlier how it worked. So now let's listen to it. Okay. Yeah, I'll bring it over here so you can hear it. Hopefully you can hear it. Oh, we've got one little creak. Got a little noise when it goes to near the top. Hear that? But it's not as loud. It's much quieter than before. A little bit of noise at the top. There's nothing I can do about that. Hmm. One other thing. So that's done. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, you know, when you take these apart and you take these tracks out in the, the, the rollers, uh, they're greased and the grease is all hard like rock. I don't grease these. When I take them out, I clean them and I leave them dry. And again, the reason why is because of road dirt. Uh, road dirt gets in there and it it, it uh, uh, turns into dirt clods, dries, gets hard, and then it works against the window. Um, I don't put any grease in these anymore. I used to, but I don't. Then now the window motor gear spring, that's different. But uh, this thing, I don't, uh, on these rollers, I don't grease them. I just leave them dry and clean. And then they work. Look at how nice it works. Now you've got nothing in there that's gonna get in there and bind this window, okay?